If humans ever get to Mars, they won't have to go thirsty. NASA announced Thursday the Curiosity rover has found water on the red planet's surface for the first time. The agency published five articles in the journal Science detailing what Curiosity discovered when it analyzed a scoop of Martian soil. It found that Martian dirt has carbon dioxide, oxygen sulfur compounds, and some things called perchlorates. We'll come back to those later, but the big news is the dirt contains lots and lots of water. Researcher Lori Leshen said, We tend to think of Mars as this dry place. To find water fairly easy to get out of the soil at the surface was exciting to me. She added, If you took about a cubic foot of the dirt and heated it up, you'd get a couple of pints of water. The search for water on Mars has been going on for decades, and ice has already been found at the poles and underground. But as a really excited guy for Discovery News points out, water on the surface is a way bigger find. Haven't we found water on Mars before? Well, kind of. It's always been like, hey, this looks like ice and we think it just melted. Or here's some clay, which means water existed here at some point. No, this is different. For one thing, it means water is most likely found everywhere on the planet in roughly equal amounts. None of the tests from any of the different rovers have found the soil to vary much from place to place. Second, it means Mars explorers could get clean water just by heating up the soil under their feet, although there are a few technical challenges. Like those perchlorates we mentioned earlier, coming into contact with them can cause thyroid problems, not something you want to have to deal with on a faraway planet. Plus, heating up the soil to get water also releases deadly chlorine gas, so it turns out Martian dirt is actually pretty lethal. But for Leshen, that's just part of the challenge, and it's better we find out now. It's good to know now that it's there, so we can plan for when humans go to Mars and there's dust everywhere. More than 200,000 people have signed up with Dutch nonprofit Mars One for a chance to be on the first shuttle to Mars. I'm guessing the no playing in the dirt rule won't deter many of them. For Newsy, I'm Candace Avilez.